Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Let's now talk sports. Bene Republic head coach Michael Dosia will now count on local league stars for this month's 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying games. Uh, Nigeria and Syria alone due to the unavailability of a number of his foreign-based stars. Dosia will be without several of his key stars after clubs in France announced they will not be releasing their players for international games outside Europe during the upcoming window. The Frenchman was earlier scheduled to release his list for both games on Tuesday, but it was postponed to Thursday yesterday, and that's due to uncertainties surrounding the availability of the top foreign pros. Uh, Wally Scott, we have you now to help us analyze this. We see that most of our foreign-based players are facing a dilemma with this matter. You know, clubs refusing to release them due to COVID-19. I mean, shouldn't get a role give our players basically a chance now? I don't know. I guess a, a lot of um, sports journalists in Nigeria have been vindicated at this point because um, we're asking questions. No sports journalist in Nigeria today is sure of a document that um, Gennot Raw signed the NFF, first off. We don't know what he signed. And I know for one that um, most other club countries across the world, when they get a coach, part of your contract is you must develop the country's football. It's, mm -hmm. it's normal. As in, why come to the country and leave the country and not develop, do anything positive for the country's football? If Gennaro Ross' clause says that, listen, don't develop our football, just build a good team, that would be really wrong on the Nigerian government side. However, Gennaro Ross is here. He has said our boys are not good enough. I disagree with that. Technically, they are good. They are raw talents, but they don't have the exposure. Have you given them the exposure? No. Raw is willing to go anywhere to look for players. Now, this year has proven in the past to be a strict coach. First off, his captain, the most influential player in the team, Sesayon, is clubless. And from the squad, he dropped him. But Nigeria instead called, calls our clubless captain, Ahmed Musa, to come and join his squad. One. Now, Victor Osime. Napoli says we won't release him. He's back from injury. He's back from COVID. Now, Moses Simon, his club nonce, says we're not releasing him either. So he's getting his standby guys there. Why not bring in local Blaze players to come and be standby for this foreign in case they can't make it? Now, it's a Nations Cup. It's more, it's more brutes than brawn. And um, you have to be able to look for people who are strong. Now, the guys who play in our league, can play against a Benin Republic, a Lesotho, a Senegal. These Botar boys can't play against them. The Alex Iwobis. They can't go against a Cameroonian defender. They will kill him. Mm -hmm. So why not use the foreign, the local base, home base players to execute these qualifiers? This is on the continent. After that, bring the boys in when, they, when push comes to show. Do you think this is what they might do now since, you know, the foreign you know, clubs are not... No, in Raw, Raw does not have any faith in any player in the Nigerian league. So what is he going to do? He already had players on standby. Like Simon, his club says you're not going. He's brought in um, a player instantly. Um, all the players who have said, okay, good, are, we're, we're only reason our players, he's brought in standby. We're, we're hoping that he runs out of standbys and wow. he comes home, yeah. Um, well, you, 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 can you blame the clubs for refusing to release players? No, don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is, Raw could have avoided all of this. If you had said, listen, a bulk of my players to execute the qualifiers will come from home. You see, you understand this. I said, yeah, man. Okay, she's a woman, but they play football. Too. But you know, but the truth is, African football is more rigorous. It's more, it's, more, it's, it's less of brown and more brutes, you know. And, and we know our boys here are rugged. I'm not saying the boys abroad are rugged. But you can't compare African football to what they play week in, week out abroad. I would have preferred a situation where the core of Raw's team would have been playing in on the continent. And let's bring a few extras from there. I, I still wonder, for example, why you would bring a Maduka who plays in Europe, who is still very young, has very little experience. And we have a Daniel Akwe, who plays in South African League, Orlando Paris, plays week in, week out in a very rugged league. Why leave a player who knows African football and bring in a young man who has never played African football before to come keep for us in a qualifier against... It doesn't work like that. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. 
Yeah, well, so 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 what are, what are his uh, chances now? And of course, what do you think you know gonna, Rome might be able to learn from this with regards homegrown talent and being able to look you know inward? If you ask my opinion, I don't want to sound unpatriotic. What I would have wanted was um, the Republic uses their home base players. Raw brings in his foreign based assassins, and then they come in and lose to the Republic. And then lesson learned would have been African football is a different thing from European football. These guys will play rugged football. They will stand with them one on one, a mano a mano, take on them, and then I hope they lose against them. And Rob wonder, listen, you put square pegs in square holes. When it's time to play African football, bring African players. When it's time to play European football, bring European players. You learn that. How easy do you think it will be to get players from our local league uh, to, to make the, that, that squad? There are some players who are doing very well. I suggested to Raw the last time I interviewed him, I said, okay, good. Don't bring the whole 11 from the African League. I understand that. At least at the end of a season, we have a best goalkeeper of the season. We have the highest goal scorer of the season, the best defender of the season, the best midfielder, if not the best, best alone. Bring them to, to if not for anything, at least for the exposure that they will get from, from being in the squad. At least, I'm not saying bring the whole league. Yeah. I'm only saying just pick at the end of the season, people win the best of their positions at the end of the league. Bring each of them. The point is, the, the people in these positions, you know, they were given a chance, like these people that no, you're uh, advocating uh, so for. So. Ironically, the only team that I think were given a chance, and I think the best coach we ever had was Clemens Vesterhoff. But I've always called him a marketer, not a coach. Vesterhoff knew men in high places. What he did was bring our players to look from the Nigerian League and put them in places. Okocha, Eintracht Frankfurt, Equiba, Monaco, you know. He actually he knew place, people in places. So George, Ajax, Kanoa, Ajax. He, he was on the phone. So he was more of a marketer than a coach for me. But he, he paid us off. The best team we've ever had is USA 94. So I think um, what Raw should be doing now is, if he wants to be a Vesterhoff, be a Vesterhoff. Identify the talents in Nigeria here yes. and take them abroad. Yeah. You can't continue to depend on these guys abroad. Okay, now we're, we're getting stressed up. COVID-19, the pandemic, post-pandemic is coming up on us. Most of the teams are saying we can't leave our players. Listen, our best players in the European League, our players in the European League, one of the best in the team, Osime, is the assassin for Napoli. Ye Nacho is the assassin for Man City. They are doing very well for their clubs. They yeah, won't release them now. post the pandemic, they won't release them. That's the truth. Oh. Well, um, how important is this game to us? Well, we must win. We must win at least one of them to at least ensure that um, we actually qualify for the Nations Cup. Um, I don't see the Republic being a problem. But like I said, if push comes to shove, these guys come and play energetic football against our butter boys, we just might lose. Against Lesotho, they will come with their, their best legs too. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what. I think Raw 2 is in a dilemma right now because his, his major guys that he is depending upon are being told to stay by their clubs. He must have to eventually depend on our home base players who, thankfully, would have to prove a point to him that we're good too. All right. Thank you very much, Wally Scott. Thank That's the much you can take on the segment. The conversation continues after the break.